take a little bit of this pain I will show you what I'm on and it's not the one this Blue Nova Drink Cloud Digital and I'm bringing you all a new tutorial on Black Bear's song called Waste Away. I'm going to be giving you all the vocal effects and I guess a bonus um, showing you all how to learn formant bending or formant pitching uh, for the high and low vocal areas. So without further ado, we'll jump straight into it. What I'm going to do is turn off the master. Um, really didn't do too much, but I'm just going to turn that off anyway. I have Maximus. I'm going to turn that off. We're just going to start fresh. So what I did, the first thing I'm going to really show y'all is uh, the format pitching. And what I did, I'm going to play the vocal raw before, before we go ahead and start. So this is how it sounds without any effects. Little bit of, little bit of this girl. I will show you what I'm on and it's not the beginning It's something I lit in it feels like we'll all right so now that we have that the first thing I did is uh went in and I had autotune VST and um the vocals already have autotune on it I exported it and took it you know already placed autotune in it uh so with the autotune I have the key on C sharp the scale minor I put the retune speed at 10 and you can go ahead and pause the screen and copy the rest of these settings. And I'm going to turn it off because the autotune is already there because I exported it and put it back in the session. So the next thing that we have is the ultra pitch shift mono slash stereo. This is a waves plugin. And this is what's going to bring the highs and low frequencies, but still keeping the vocals in key of the song. So what you're going to do, you're going to first click format. And then you're going to right click. You're going to go to the knob at the top right click and create automation clip so once you do that that's where the line i'm gonna zoom in you're gonna see um you're gonna right click and make these points and so you're just basically gonna draw the highs and lows in here so according to the song you know the vocals will get low right here you know get back up to be original and, and turn back low again so now that we're gonna play it in here take a little bit of this girl I will show you what I'm on And it's not the beginning It's something I let in It feels like we're living too fast to fall asleep Take a little hit of this girl I will show you the world tonight So now that you see that what it does right here in the areas you'll see it being corrected um and even the numbers right here through the automation clip getting lower and higher so the next thing that we have is the eqo what i did i went ahead and just cut out uh, all the low i know it's probably really a weird way to do it but this is what i found effective for this vocal so i chopped off all the low and this is how it sounds take a little bit of this girl i will show you what i'm on and it's not the beginning so now the next thing we have is going to be DS stereo. Um, it's going to really just take care of the high frequencies uh, just so that it doesn't hurt your ears whenever you do listen to it. So what I have, the audio split frequency 5506 side chain. Go ahead and select high pass uh, monitor audio and drop the threshold down to negative 48.9. And this is what it sounds like. Take a little bit of this girl. I will show you what I'm on and it's not the beginning. So the next thing that we have is Fruity Parametric EQ2. And what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and um, really just placed these bands to where I feel like it sounded good for the vocals. So on the first um, 63 hertz, honestly, you can just kind of copy it down. Um, or you can, I'm going to have the FLP available for you to get from the site. Um, from bluenovabeast.com there you can you know purchase it and be able to have the live session and work with it exactly how you want to but this is exactly what i did for my vocal and i'll go ahead and play it take a little bit of this girl i will show you what i'm on and it's not the beginning it's and the next thing i have is the extra stereo i put the threshold down to negative 46 and frequency 8,592 side chain put on high pass this is what it sounds like take a little bit of this girl 
I will show you what I'm on. The next thing I have is Fruity Reverb 2. Um, put the pre-delay all the way down, bass all the way up. Uh, just the K time, put it around here. All of these I know in the previous videos, I kind of go in and give you the exact uh, numbers for each knob. But you can go, honestly, it can just be an estimate. Uh, and you can just pretty much just pause the screen and just get the knobs right to where it looks about similar to mine. So I'm going to go ahead and play the quality. Take a little bit of this girl. I will show you what I'm on. So I know you notice the vocals are still pretty low. What we're going to do is turn it up to negative three decibels because the beat for it is pretty loud. Uh, so we're going to get the fruity limiter. What I did, uh, go ahead, you can go ahead and reset this. Uh, put the head, put it at 10.23 milliseconds. Drop the release all the way down to zero. I put the um, I put the ceiling down, I think, at negative six, but then I brought down, but then I brought up uh, the fader on the mixer, so it'll be at negative three. But we're gonna go ahead and play it. Take a little bit of this girl. I will show you what I'm on, and it's not the beginning of something. I so now that we have that, the last thing is the beat. Um, what all I did in, in Maximus, go ahead and uh, reset it. You can go to presets, then default, it should be there. Um, if it's not, then you're just gonna go ahead and adjust these bands and every knob. So master, you're gonna uh, left click and drag it all the way up. You don't want anything on a limiter. On a high, just bring all these bands up. You want all of these up. So you're gonna do that for all of these. The only thing I did on the low, I brought the um, I brought the pregame down to negative three decibels because the beat um, it had it had a, like a lot of low presence with the melody mixed with the with the bass the bass area of the instrumental. So that's what I went ahead and did. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Take a little bit of this girl. I will show you what I'm on And it's not the beginning It's something I live in It feels like we're living too fast to fall asleep Take a little hit of this girl So the last thing I have is Isotope Ozone 5 And Is go to the post equalizer I went to the 8th band Drop down Low pass Then brick wall and this should be at um, 16,000 hertz. And with the make sure on the graph, uh, just left click and drag it before the loud maximizer. You can click close and have the maximizer. You can just leave it alone. Just make sure it's on. So that way there's going to be a ceiling on a master. Take a little bit of this day. I will show you what I'm on And it's not the beginning It's something I live in It feels like we're living too fast to fall So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the tutorial Um, I know a lot of people have been really telling me That, you know, why am I really doing these tutorials If I'm having the FLP um, provide Well, not really provided Because you do have to purchase it Um, I'm really just doing it I'm having it up on the store And doing these tutorials So people can see that you can get studio quality vocals and studio quality songs just from using stock plugins aside from you know having waves plugins just for you know the ds or something like the format pitching and everything but um really honestly just thank you all for watching uh subscribing liking sharing comments and everything it really means a lot so make sure to put in the comment section exactly what you want to see next and what kind of vocal effects you do want to see in the next videos and if you need any beats mixing mastering graphic designs all that just go to bluenovabeats.com and that pretty much wraps it up so thank you all for watching take a little bit of this girl. i will show you what i'm on and it's not the beginning